Hey guys, just wanna take a second to say thank you. We just reached 3,000 subscribers. And I know you might be thinking, big deal, 3,000. Why are you even celebrating that? You know, you have to wait till you get to 50,000 or 100,000 and then you can throw a celebration party. I disagree, and I'll tell you why I disagree. Um, this is something that can relate to you and your career and your music licensing career, okay? It's important to remember and celebrate your little wins, okay? Now, getting 3,000 subscribers wouldn't be possible without you, so I first have to thank you for subscribing, watching the videos, commenting, liking them, participating, sending me feedback, sending me your tracks for reviews. I mean, obviously, none of this is possible without you, so thank you very much. But, um, I had this YouTube channel started in 2016. I was kind of lazy with it. I didn't do a lot with it. It wasn't until January of this year, 2017, that I started really kind of kicking up my productivity. And I started releasing two or three tra um, uh, videos a week. And that's kind of where I've sort of settled on right now. And maybe I'll start doing more, but obviously it depends on how much I have going on in my life with my other uh, obligations. But since I actually started really trying to crank up my productivity and, and putting more content on my channel. I've seen my numbers grow, I've seen the interaction grow, the comments growing, the likes growing, all that kind of stuff. So for me, 3,000 means a lot because I didn't have 3,000 at the beginning of this year. I think I only had maybe, actually I don't even remember the number. It's, it was definitely only maybe, it was less than 500, I can tell you that. It was probably like three or 400, maybe at the most in January. I had barely any when the year started. So the fact that it's grown, yeah, we're not at 100,000, I'm not at a million subscribers, nothing like that. But I do wanna take a second to say thank you and acknowledge that I create an awesome track. track or I secure a contract with somebody or I even get just another couple of tracks into a library's catalog um, or get even a couple of small placements here or there. They might not be massive, huge, big wins, but I wanna take a second to acknowledge when a win is a win, right? When I've actually accomplished something, when I've succeeded at something that I put my mind to, when I've completed a track that I thought was a little bit difficult or I just love the way it sounds at the end of it, you do need to sort of congratulate yourself along the way. Give yourself those rewarding moments of just bask in the glory a little bit. I mean, this industry and creating music for a living is hard enough, you guys know, like the struggle you go through every single day. So give yourself a break here and there, okay? They don't have to be massive, big accomplishments. You don't have to score a, you know, a six-figure contract with a licensing gig to throw yourself a little party, even if it's not a real party you throw. Just internally, just go, you know what? That was really cool. That was that was great. That was real. That was you know, job well done essentially. And treat yourself right. Give yourself a little pat on the back for even just little accomplishments that you do along the way, because you do need to become your own best, you know, biggest cheerleader, essentially, you know, other people in your life, they might be cheering you on, maybe they're not. But if they are, and hopefully you have some supportive people around you, that are giving you encouragement, that's really awesome. But really, at the end of the day, you are in your head by yourself, okay, you are really by yourself in this industry. And so you really need to be your own best cheerleader. Um, sometimes we are too harsh on ourselves, we critique ourselves too much, we beat ourselves up too much, for sure. A lot of negative self talk is a big issue in this business that people talk themselves out of going for because they don't feel like they have what it takes. They don't they know that there are other people that are more talented, and they just don't think anybody's going to accept their music. There's enough of that going out there, right? And so um, take your little wins, right? Even if it's as small as you figured out how to make your you know, kick drum punch through your mix a little bit harder, or you got your track to be a, just a little bit louder than it normally is, those are wins, okay? And those are tiny little things. And as far as for my career, it's been really important that I take the time to acknowledge those wins, okay? Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna start encouraging um, a sort of a positive abundance mindset where you're basically now, every time you accomplish little things that help you along your way, and remember, you will not get to success overnight. You're gonna stack up success in, in terms of tiny little wins that stack up throughout the, the weeks and months and eventually years uh, producing music, right? So you need, you have to create sort of a system in your, in your mind where when you succeed, right, even if it's a small little step towards your ultimate goal of doing this full time, Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a little attaboy, however that is. You know, got to go get a candy bar. You want to get yourself a nice, uh, whatever, delicious coffee drink or something like that. Give yourself a little bit of a like, there you go. You're on the right path. Um, and that really will help you even when you're not really feeling motivated and you're not really feeling like you are making a lot of progress. If you've built that into your system from day one, that when you make even tiny, tiny little accomplishments, you take the time to celebrate those, those things. So... 
Um, kind of some words of wisdom that I've, I've used basically throughout my career uh, in this industry. So again, thank you guys so much for subscribing, liking these videos, staying tuned. I hope um, you guys are still learning more um, and I'm getting better and better as I go through this. I know that if you watch some of my early videos, I probably was stuttering a lot, uh, uh, a lot of that going on. Um, and I know I probably repeat myself a lot in a lot of videos, so I'm trying to get better at that. So thank you for bearing with me through essentially what this has been like an introductory learning phase for me. Um, you know, and remember, no matter what you do, you're going to suck at it in the beginning. OK, um, I was just talking about somebody with this that we, you know, we're trying to learn how to put together these uh, tutorials. And this guy has never done tutorials before as, as far as putting on a camera you know, showing his video screen and actually doing all this kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, if I showed you some of the earliest videos that I ever did or the first uh, tutorials I ever tried to do on my computer, even as little as basically a year and a half ago, two years ago, cringe world, ultra cringe. I mean, they're they're very, very bad. They're terrible. Um, and maybe I'll share some of those later. Some of them I never even put up online because I was like, that is just, I, I would keep it just to remind myself how terrible it was, what not to do, but I would never put it out online. But we'll see, maybe I will. But just remember, no matter what you start, you're going to suck at it in the beginning. Everybody does. Nobody just goes through it super easy. Everybody has um, a little phase where you're just not that good at it. So the the key is just get through the sucky, the sucky part of it you know get through that part that's not so comfortable and you're not so good at something and eventually as time goes on you get more and more comfortable I mean right now I feel a hundred times more comfortable in front of a camera and a microphone than I did when I first started and I remember the first time I would put up videos on YouTube I would get like you know two minutes into it and then I would uh, uh, freeze and then oh, I got to start over and so I'd start over all these videos and it was just such a pain in the neck to try to get up a video on YouTube and that's why I had such a slow start in the beginning but you know, these days now, I have an idea, I have sort of notes in front of me, I know what I want to say, and just practice makes perfect. You just keep going for it, and eventually it becomes second nature, and that's definitely relevant for you guys as you produce tracks and um, and start getting your music out there into libraries and eventually, obviously, uh, in TV. So thank you guys again. Stay tuned. Here's to the next 3,000 subscribers we gain.